Okay. Um, we are using two cameras here. One is on the, on on another account. So you will see another account. Uh, my name there. All right. So uh, before we start, I will talk about the structure of the report here. So you start with the cover page, uh, okay? That you download from the uh, course outline, the course guide there. Okay. Then after that, you start with the introduction. So basically, all the lab sheet that I send you um, already have the introduction now. Uh. Okay. So what you do is just you just copy from the theory side. I mean you copy uh, everything here. Like from yeah, one okay. to one, copy, copy everything. Okay. Then methodology also same oh, is there. So you just go to after the theory, there will be steps, procedure. Huh? And the procedure, we look at the first experiment, we look at the hydrostatic experiment first. Uh, that one, that one. That one is the uh, no. hydrostatic, this one. Eh? Yeah, so hydrostatic one. Um, so there's a procedure there um, in page number six there. So experimental procedure is here, lah, methodology or uh, experimental set up there. You just use the thing and then you will follow by your data collection. Eh? Data collection, I want to see whether there's a table for data there. Then after that, only you go to the result and discussion. Yeah. So there is no much change for the first experiment on the table. All right. Um, okay. Yeah. So from here to set up here is actually copy from the lab sheet. Then. Um, there will be something changes in experiment two and three, so you need to do some minor correction yeah. there. Okay. Uh, then for data, this one is from. Yeah, so then result also from here lah. Then conclusion just maybe one paragraph of what you basically you answer the question of what does the the significant result you get. Uh -huh. Right. Uh, we are talking about numbers, but yeah. if you get and 10 kilonewton water seed. Right. So just, just conclude for the, this one, right? All right, so for first experiment, if you read through, there's a lot of theory there. Lah, huh? yeah. So uh, basically, the first experiment is about hydrostatic force, where later you will assemble this one. Okay, so this is the container of this one. Yeah. Then later you will. So this is the hollow. This is a hollow structure. Inside there got air. Then when you fill in water, it on. There will be a hydrostatic force FR to this surface. So how do you test whether there's a force or not? So you you use a weight to counterbalance it. Right. So this one mount to here, and then later you will have your weight. Okay. So uh, if if you want to counter this one, there must be a force pushing down from here. But this force transfer by this one. Okay. So this one, uh, what you get equal to this one because uh, there's a moment. You know moment, right? So moment. Uh, is F times the D yeah. or small d. So this one is perpendicular. So this one is great a moment. So same like this one. So all focus on datum here. So if you have a force in this direction, it will be the same like this if this one doesn't move. Okay. So before you start later on, you will see that this one will go in this position, it will it will go down like that because you are adding some weight here. So you will start from try to balance the whole system without water. 
the other, the, the, the other side of the, the tube, oh. we are water. Inside this, you are, or you just add inside water. Yeah. Later on, then this one you add. Okay. And inside here, air. It's, it's air. Oh. So, because we know that the buoyancy can float the thing. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we start with zero. <laughs> then we start with zero means that zero newton means you balance the whole system first. Um, there is a line on here. Later I will explain on the arm there. So make sure everything is. Balance with uh, without water. Then after that, we will slowly add water. So we are slowly add water. First, you add until here. Okay, there's a let's say I put zero meter lang. Oh, this is the the first line that you start because this is to to make sure all the system is balanced. Then after that, you, you add this one. This one without weight. Then after that, you slowly add from the table. You add 50 gram or 0 0.05 gram. So 50 gram, you add one. So when you add 50 gram, this one will go down. 50 gram go down, so you need to balance it. So how you balance this one? You add water to create the uh, reaction force, the hydrostatic force, to balance it back so that you get a force to push the surface up again. So the, the force that created here will equal to this one. Yeah, so it just balance back. So this is how we find the resultant force or hydrostatic force by using the moment concept. Uh, basically, it is yeah, it's just moment concept, all right. And then there are some uh, equation over there. You will see that in the hydrostatic force, yeah. So they are h double prime there. Yeah. Uh, h double prime. Uh, you able to see? Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So there is a h double prime and there is a prime. Okay, so there are two, two uh, H there. So in the table there, later you need to calculate. In the table, the first one is experiment, which is double prime. So that one uh, you can calculate from the equation here. Right? There's an equation for double prime, H double prime. Then the theoretical, you also can calculate from the theory here. Okay. In the in the lab sheet, there is uh, equation number four is for experiment H double prime. Then there's one theoretical depth uh, here. Equation number seven. You see number seven. Yeah. So there is a double prime H minus D divided by three. Okay. So this one you read through lah. Eh? So all these are able to find. Um. So any question on the formula itself? No one. Eh? And then um, the dimension, the D, H prime, double prime, you look at the diagram. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. You, then I will show you how to uh, do the experiment. Okay. So Oliver, you okay? Eh? Yeah. So I'm going to turn the camera to... One, one is experiment. This one experiment for this one. You see, this one experiment, this one. So you actually it's the same. The value will be the same. Yeah. You try to calculate you the value will be the same. Uh, okay, let me put it here. Right. So the first one, if you read the menu, step number one is to set up this one. Yeah? Okay, this one. So you put this one in. So before you do anything, you just want to level it. So um, I already adjust everything. So 
before we do anything, this one will go up because there is a weight here. Yeah. Then after that, we will add this one. So how do we know we have to make sure it's level? Use this one or you just use your eyes. There is a there is a uh, datum here, not datum, but it's a, there's a guide there, mark, mark here. So along the body, there's a one straight line there. You see, there's a one straight line. So that one represents the center line of the, the moment, I mean uh, the axis that you're referring to. But I don't think we need this one. Uh. We just make sure that the line is straight. And how you how you control this one is actually adjusting this one. Yeah, it is straight now. Almost lah. Huh? Okay. So yeah, you can try to turn it if you want. So you move it in, so it will go down. So if you so you see the line is going down. So now you uh, balance it back. You try to balance it back to the point there. Adjust it. Almost there, right? So what is the next step? According to the after you position level okay then number two we also put the empty this one the empty weight hanger and make sure that it's level so now the whole system is balanced right so we add a small one so you go down right so now the next step after you add number four close the vein valve this is here so you close already it, later you need to drain the water so this one is clear right so you ask you to close the vein at the end of the tank then slowly add water to the tank until hydrostatic thrust which is here the end of uh, this one here we add water until um, close the vein slowly, add water to the tank until it has a shot on the end for then cause the balance arm to this. You slowly add water. Right? Yes, yes, yeah. Then after that, okay, you read from here. Okay, so before we start anything, you need to do some measurement. Ah. You see, you need to measure the D, D, B, L, and H. So before you start, we will dismantle the system first, and then you measure. There's a ruler. Uh, measure uh, on the. Okay, what's happening now? They are measuring the dimension. D, yes, correct. No, the, that is the, yeah, D is correct. The height of the, the fifth piece. So you you put in the meter there lah, eh? or you you just write some raw data then later you convert lah. The one you measure just now is uh, in cm. So you write lah. Uh, the first one the d will be uh, ten.
L let me see uh, L yes to the data needs to here to the to the plot there, the one that you put your weight. The the big H you have to look at the the pitot height. Yeah, this one here to here. You measure from here to the center line of this one. No, 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 until the center line of this box. Until the center okay. line. Okay. Because you are using the axis line. Almost, almost 20 lah. Huh? Almost 20. So you should get uh, 10 cm for D, correct? Uh, B is how many you get? 25. Um, um, is correct. H is okay. So, then you need to Ah, yes, correct. Because uh, all the calculation later on, the thrust is in Newton. So, you yeah. need to convert to SI. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, now we are going to conduct the experiment. So actually there is a lunar over here. There's a nothing there. So Oliver, there is a lunar over here. So this is from bottom to, to the level of water. Okay. okay. There's a purpose why I uh, I mentioned this one because it will make it easy for you later. Let me show you uh. So in your in your table, the depth of immersion D. Right? The depth of immersion D, you need to calculate from the sea level right so you need to calculate from the sea level this is your d right so, yeah. then your lula your lula is from the bottom of the container right this is your lula right now you need to find this one so what you do is that I will start to measure when the water fill up here, there will be some X or Y value. Here. Y1. Okay, then later you fill in, fill in water, you get the total. Total height from here, you minus it off. Then you get a view. Yeah, to me, if, if not, then you have to always measure, oh, yeah. measure, measure, measure. So to me, I work another way around. I will, because I know that I have a lula to help me. So I just measure the starting point. Then after that, when I fill in water, I get my water sea level. Then this one will keep increasing. Yes. So I take the, the water height minus this one, I get my D. I always get my D from the Y1. Yeah. 
Yes, yes. So later you fill in, let's say you fill in water up to, up to here. You need to find B. So what you do, you look at this one. Right? Let's say you get uh, Y2 here. So how do you calculate B? You take Y2 minus Y1 and you get here. So this, this C level always, water level always the same. So to make yourself easy, you just need to record the Y2, uh, record Y1 first. Then after that, from the first data, you always measure Y2, then later you minus the constant value. From the reference point, now, you can say as a reference point. Right? If not, you have to always like take this number minus this number from Then it will be take more time to calculate. Okay, now let's go to the experiment. Okay, you need to go and uh, get water from the tap there. Each one of you do one 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 weight lah. So Amir, you do for the first fifty gram. Then after that, uh, Ku will do for the another fifty gram. Then take turn. So what is going to happen here, if you look at the apparatus here. So, we already put on the weight over here. Now it's 50 grams. And then, you see that there's no water and the, and the arm here is going down. Right? This, arm is, this arm is going down. So we need to fill in water so that we can have hydrostatic force from here. Right? Your push, then this arm will go up. So now, I'm going to fill in water. I will just stand here. And see, yeah? So what you need to look at is this water level. Is this uh, arm level? There is uh, one. One. I'm not sure whether you can see. It, but there is one here. So it's fill in water. So it's fully fill in the water. So the, for the first step, you just measure the water level up to the the, arm, the, the, the lower bottom there. Until you get to the bottom of the you touch the water level has to touch the the water level has to touch the end of it. Now it's not yet clean, so you have to the water level has to touch the Ah, uh, you have to touch the bottom. Yeah, just add a little bit more. Then you can get the reference marking. Uh, okay, so there the water touch the bottom. So you have to make sure that when you touch the bottom, this one also level uh, this one. So it means that now the, the whole the system still already balanced. So now you record. Uh, you record for the first water level, which is your Y1. Yeah, which is your Y1 here. Or you have to record in mm or mm then later you convert to meter mm will be more accurate okay now it's zero so zero weight it gives you 41 this one what 42 is is when you don't have zero weight okay so this you fill in like zero here lah. zero you start one more row uh, you, start, you start with one uh, zero row, you'll get your reference y1. So zero uh, means 
Yeah, means y what? Zero. Zero. Then after that, you add 50 gram. Okay. Okay, now I'm here, you add 50 gram on one side. Now you start adding water until the arm level is horizontal. So you see Amir is adding water. Then this arm will go up. Then we'll get a level. The whole system will balance. Then after that you get reading from here. The arm will slowly go up, yeah. So don't worry, you add water a little bit. Let's start moving up already. So slowly add water. If too, too many water, you just release the water. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. If both of you agree, then you get the reading. Yeah. Yeah. So you get the reading from this one. Then you repeat this experiment for another weight here. Add water, get reading. I'll put back the camera. Okay, so just now, below, without weight, you get something here. Yeah. Then now you add water balance already with 50 grams. Yeah. So you need to calculate the D, correct? Yeah. So you take Y2 minus Y1. From the beginning. From here, yeah, from here, yes. Yeah. So, so you just write your reading y2, what is the reading for 0.5? So, later you do calculation now. Nah. Yeah, okay. Now, at the moment, you just do the okay. So, for now, it's uh, 85. So you just write 85, no? okay, right uh, or you write it here also. Right. Can yeah. huh? yeah. so this is your raw data yeah, okay. later you convert. Understand now? Yeah. Understand? Okay, now your turn. You you go and fill up water, <laughs> then repeat. You're going to repeat it until there's no no touch area. Okay. Okay, add one weight and then repeat the experiment. So you're going down already, so you need to balance it with uh, hydrostatic force. Okay. Go up, so add a little bit. drop okay then we from there yeah. then you minus the y1 and you get the d Yeah, 
Like one, two, three, four. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, as long as you understand what you are doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then, uh, yeah, Amir, you repeat the next one. Yeah. Uh, I think it's like uh, now I see that uh, whenever we we add more weight, mm. the, the amount of order is decreasing, right? Mm. Yeah. And actually, from the previous part, you can estimate the next one. But not exactly, la, but you roughly know you need to add how many watts. Yeah. Reading now should be one five zero uh, gram. So, okay. okay, do another one. Repeat until you get the last one uh, until forty five four hundred fifty gram. Okay, so from the table, there's a column there immersion full or partial. What does it mean? It means that. Uh, partial means it haven't. Uh, this is full full submerged. This yeah. surface is full submerged. Partial it means the water still not yet cover all the space here. Oh. Okay. Now it's partial. Yeah, yeah. Now it's partial. Okay. Now it's partial. So later you add water and then after some weight there you will be fully submerged. So uh, fully uh, immersion. So, yeah, full or fresh, uh, partial. So now we it full, right? Yeah, this one is full full submerge, uh, immersion. Means full submerge. Fully submerge. So actually can you can see the water level actually roughly chun chun on the yeah, edge of the now. the surface there. So you can see the water level now is fully submerged here. This is fully submerged. So just now the water is here, so we, we could call it partial submerged.
you now is one, two, three, four, five. Now it's two five zero. <laughs> I know that. So one more is it? Is it? More, two more. Now it's a data number. Okay. Two more. Huh? Okay. Yeah. The pick.
Go on. Done? Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can use the document photo. Uh, there's no photo, right? Yeah, you can put photo if you want. Just to let yourself uh, explain better. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we already done for this one. So you just drain, drain, drain the water. So I'll just open the tap and then put the weight back. Okay. All right, now this experiment, you need to discuss something if you look at the result and analysis there. So you need to calculate the experimental number two, uh, experimental and theory value of the central pressure of each result. Then you need to plot the graph, depth of the center pressure against depth of immersion. It is uh, depth of the center pressure. Um, it is your H. Right. You see uh, this diagram? Four point. You need to plot H. The H is your center of uh, uh, pressure. H is your center pressure, the H, correct? Yeah. Uh, then the small H also la, represent the H prime is the, to your center pressure. Then you need to plot versus D, the small D there, the depth of the water to the base of the quadrant. Okay, so it's not D, uh, yeah. Your, small D. Uh, let me see. Eh? Yeah, the depth of emotion, the small d. Is uh, how many the water submerged? Huh? Okay. Or oh, the H double point. Center pressure, that, yeah. Actually, you need to plot the H, the H and the H double pump. Because you want to find the center of pressure, it is this one. Okay. And, uh, the H, the F here, the one with this one and the one with this one. H. We want to find the relationship between pressure and the reaction force location. This one is H prime. Um, H, the one is H prime, correct. H prime. If you prop H double prime also same, actually it's from you will see the linear, there is a linear relationship between the H. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. Then after that, you comment on the things that ask you to comment there. Okay. So we have done for the first one. Okay, you submerge already. Okay, later we come back to this one. Now the second experiment is uh, uh, Bernoulli equation. Okay. Uh, I need to take this one to Bernoulli equation experiment. Maybe I'll put it. Good. Maybe I'll put it here. Uh, 
Maybe I need some space, or maybe that. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we're going to use the this question. Huh? Okay, second experiment will be the hydrostatic, uh, not hydrostatic, um, Bernoulli equation. So basically, uh, this is a machine that we're using. We are using the model. Uh, uh, there is a model. Wait a minute. This one? Yeah, this one. MIMP 6100. Okay, now this experiment we focus on this apparatus. So, Bernoulli, we know that there is a change of uh, cross section. Then it will give you a different speed if you change the velocity and the area, it will give you different pressure. Okay, now because we know that continuity equation. Uh, M, uh, M dot must be same from this point to this point. Yeah. The M dot no, must be the same, all right? So because we are assuming water is in incompressible, so the density will be the same. So Q, uh, rho we can take up, rho AV, rho we can rho, take up. Yeah. Now the only change is your A and V. Okay. So as you change the area, the cross section area, the velocity will change, correct? Right? Now velocity change, we know that in the vertical equation we can calculate. The area will change here, right? The yes. white, the white area, right? Oh. So this is the area. So if you look at the diagram, if you look at the diagram uh, here, this one. So this is actually the, the change of the, oh, okay. this one. So if you change the H, the width is, is given, the width is, is constant now. So you can put in the in the unit of width if you want, because width is also same. So but the, the king is the length. Yeah, the 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 A, the the H is different. H. Yeah, the, H, yeah. This one. the H is different. Okay. Yeah, the width is constant. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we have done one tutorial question before where we calculate the Q divided by W. Do you remember? Yeah, so we can put in, in the same same method. So as your area change, so there is a velocity equation that we did in the tutorial, where we get the pitot-static and uh, the the static force and the uh, static force and this p zero minus p. Do you remember the velocity yeah. one? So the the pressure will change as you move from heat between two points, yeah. then there is a pressure to different here. For example, this point and this point, you get pressure, right? So we know the pressure from these tubes, right? Okay. Then you get the pressure between here to here, you will get the velocity over here. Means that the change of uh, the velocity from this point to this point, you can calculate. Oh, okay. uh, because you have two pressure there, correct? And you, you know that when you have a pressure, then you can do a lot of things. So, uh, so the dimension is given. They are 11 point. So each different is given here. The dimension is given here already. You have 11 point to, to read it on. All right. So the area also calculated for you already. Yeah. Uh, I didn't go and check lah, the, the value here, but I assume correct. Lah, huh? So binary equation you know already. Um, you need to calculate what? Uh, you need to calculate uh, from the table. Um, okay. From this table, uh, actually I will do a little bit modification. Uh. Um, you see these two tube, uh? yeah. one, two, and the manometer here. Yeah. Okay, before you go, you see the graph paper here. Uh, can you grab the ruler at the 3D printer there? There is a ruler that's now you use for measurement. Yeah. 
Uh, Amir, can you measure the the unit of this one? Because later you'll read from this graph paper. So what is the length of individual individual grid there? The individual one? Yeah. Means that the height, if you want to look at the height, the line represents what one one line to another one represent how many mm? Or one box equal to? 2 mm, correct? Uh, 2 mm, correct? 2 mm, one box, one little box there. Ah, one little box, yeah, yeah, <laughs> little box, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, the, the major, the means the solid line between solid line is 20 mm, mm. correct? Yeah. So uh, again, you see there's a numbering from the technician. Oh, yeah. But actually the, to me, is is meaningless. <laughs> Yeah. If you measure, if you measure from from uh, directly, so one one is when you get the measurement from here, you times two. Because if you if you put the ruler side by side, you will see that three x three six. If yeah. you measure from from here to here, is actually six six cm, correct? Yeah, yeah. From right? yeah. from bottom to three, yeah, to you four, get yeah, you get six cm, correct? Yeah. Okay. So uh, to be convenient, when you read it later, yeah, yeah, you just read from here times two. Down, 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 down. You understand? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. You put the ruler side by side. Okay, you so see you see three. Oh, yeah. This three is let's just start from the ruler. From the beginning is ten, right? Yeah, yeah. This three is twenty-four, right? Yeah. So the difference is six. Yeah. Six. Yeah. So six equal to or represent two. Uh, represent three. So each one here represents two. Oh. So later, if you read reading from from this graph, yeah. you straight away, let's say you, your 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 level of manicures yeah. reach seventeen, means it actually is uh, times two. Oh, so we it's actually three hundred forty mm. So we at this yeah. graph we need to times two. Right? Yeah, like this one. This is fifteen, right? You see from here, fifteen. Yeah, it's the whole ruler. Oh. So you need to times two yeah. is actually yeah you can say as thirty cm or mm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay? okay. Yeah. So these are the things lah. So uh, when I give you sample later on, you will see that the data that you see are a little bit different. Okay. Uh, so okay. Um, I will explain about these two. Huh? Uh, I will go to the drawing board there. Uh, come over here, the whiteboard here. I'll explain about the experiment for this one. Okay. You see the two very big tube, and then there's a manometer 11 measurement here, 1 to 11. All right, so how this machine works, you have to know how this machine works. So we have a pump, the pump water inside here. We will fill up this tank up to here. So I already set uh, to 500 mm or 50 cm height. Then the water will go inside here, go inside the the we call the the tube like, or the Bernoulli apparatus. Like. So then after that, you will continue with here. The water will fill up here and drain out. Okay, I already fixed these two. This is, let's say, I, I'm not sure what I fixed there. So this one I set, um, later we will set this up. Yeah? So how you control this side, there is a arm. You see there's a there's an arm, this one, this one. You see this one, this part? So this one you move up and down, you control this height, this water level later. You move because of the, the pressure that we set here. So this water inside here, right? Yeah, so the water will come up here. So if you move down, this one maybe you go up. 
or maybe go down. Yeah. Later you play with it. Yeah. Right? So then you read readings. So differences of this height and this height, we call it total head. But late, we haven't come to this, this word, this term yet. This one will come when we study the loss in the pipe. So at this moment, you just accept that this is the total head. Means you take this one minus this one. Okay. And okay, the temperature because in the in the in the data sheet here you need to assume the water temperature. You can put any temperature like, because you don't have thermometer. It will be about 28 degrees C. About lah, like, or you can put 30 also can. But this one will affect your viscosity and also density of the water. So we do this approximately to the room temperature. Yes. Okay, um, I need to show you later. Remind me to give you the, the value of Okay, later remember to there's a one one data that I want you to take home uh, this one. So there will be one document that later you need to take a photo. So what does this uh, this document is property of water? So there's a temperature versus all the density and all this. Uh. Oh. Actually, it's the same as your appendix. So whatever the what the temperature. Yeah, you choose. Then appendix. you read from here. Oh, okay. uh, because you need to use all this value for calculation. Oh, yeah. uh, remember to take photo later. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so for the first experiment, later when you start the machine, I will set three height for you. I mean, this one you set three height. So, because you have different, different height, then later you need to read the volume of water, volume per second. You need to calculate the volumetric flow rate. Okay, this one, you need to read the volume flow rate, volume flow rate here, meter per second meter cube per second. There's a water tank, you see at the side of the water tank there, you see there's a blue color handle. This one, this one means the flow is, you allow the flow to flow into the reservoir. All right? When you start experiment later, I will close this one. Okay, um, when, when, but, when you start, you can you can just open it. Then you get the reading. After you get the reading, you come here, you close, you close the experiment, you close the valve here. The water will start accumulating in the tank there. Then there is a there is a volume meter at the side there. You see there is a black color tube. This one, the black color tube. So here got the marking in liter. So what, what you need to calculate here is, one, is that uh, later you use your phone. Um, you just fix maybe 10 liter. In the experiment data sheet there is 10 meter. Uh, step number two, we ask you to measure 10 liter. But you can measure five liter. It depends because ten liter you have to wait lah, right? But this one you can fix one, and then you after you done the measurement, you close the water start fill up. You start your time watch when you close it. You close it, the water will start flooding. When you reach ten, you stop the uh, time watch. Then you get the time to fill in. 10 liter, let's say 10 seconds. So the Q 
is uh, one liter per second. One liter, yeah, one liter per second. You need to convert to meter cube. Okay. All right. Now the first, the first level I will set is uh, three one zero mm. The first experiment. Second one I will set to three three zero. Amen. So there's a ruler at the second cube there. The third you set to three five zero. Amen. Amen. Means the height of the water pressure over here. Then each set will give you different different value from one to eleven. Yeah. So first set you get first reading. You got eleven data for first set. You repeat the same. Uh, okay, the start is later. I will start the experiment. I'll do one set for you. I'll do the first one, 310. Then you read data, 1 to 11. After that, we measure Q. We've done all the data already. You get 11 data plus the Q. Then we start with the second setting, 330 mm, with a different head, law, uh, different head pressure. Then you measure the pressure here, the pressure height here. And we control this by uh, why this handle? Yeah, this handle is is like a fix already. Yeah. It, it won't it won't fall down, all right? So you, you change this one, you get the eleven data, get the Q again. Then the third side you change a bit higher, read eleven data, and calculate this one. Then you get the three set data. Okay, so this table actually you can add another column, yeah. right? Another column, so I get three. So normal for engineering, we will get at least three times uh, or three set of data minimum. All right. Okay, I, I will start the experiment over there. I will change the camera for our Oliver there. Okay. All right. Now, um, all the important is that actually I need to tell you how to control this one, but I already fixed already. This one is control the water into this one. So if this is a buff that control the water level, right? If you release, this one will drop. If you tighten it, it will go up. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Means you control the water level that go inside. So it's continuous. But, uh, yeah, yeah. So, all right, I'll go on. So it start building up. You see the water level going up already. I will need to let the system stable until a certain height of here. I think this one I finish at 330. So here about 330. This one 30 cm. If you put the ruler, you measure from here. Right? It will be 30 cm here. Uh, we also measure from the axis, la, from axis here. This here. So now it's 30, 31, 32, 33. So how do I control the water level here? I will just move this one down. But however, the 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 what you call the chalk here, the neck here, you see it's go below the reading already. So you no, no reading you can read. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, so what you do is you increase. Uh. You, at first you observe what happened if I increase, if I reduce, the all the water level will drop. If I increase the head over here, you 
because when I degrade it, it will be uh, easier to work to, to go outside, right? The the water, the velocity change. Yeah, the velocity. Yeah. So you see, but there is a bubble go inside. There is a bubble creating at this here. Oh, okay. Meaning the speed is too low, and is creating a bubble inside this uh, area, okay. which is not good for nozzle section. Oh. Right. So it means that the the flow is not complete. There is an error here. So you see water uh, bubble come up here. So what we do, we in, if you are go down, you'll see a lot of bubble come up, more bubble. Oh, okay. It means that the pressure difference is too low until the this this configuration of nozzle doesn't work. It means that uh, if you use this nozzle to spray water, you will see a lot of like, like that. Oh, so okay. it's like not enough water pressure. Yeah, not because the speed here is reducing, and so then the stability between the and the outlet, right? yes. So you increase, uh, increase. Right, I'll let you guys play with this one. Until a certain height, this one is stable. You no longer see bubble come up. It will be around 300, 3, 310. Oh. Uh, yeah, about there. So you see, now the but system becomes no stable, reading, right? but no reading because too low. The pressure here is too low. Too, too low for, there's a pressure there, but it's too low for this apparatus for reading. So you increase uh, until 310. Set to 310, you'll see reading come up. Set to 310. Uh, now it's 320. Yeah. And a very sensitive lot, isn't it? Okay, so make sure there's no bubble. Bubble means cavitation. Cavitation in a pipe. Then you see all the tube o ring have reading, then you can start experiment. Okay, then you can try the, the valve there. If you close it, you see the water level rising because you see the water filling up here, this, this water tank here. Close it, then you see the water rise, the water level. You close it right, then you slowly rise up. Then you start recording. Eh? Okay. Because the water level is filling this, this one. The... Okay. Then you, now you open it. You will drain the water to the reservoir there. Okay, now the first one, start reading. Uh, put input. Lah. The first one is uh, 50 mm on one side. This one. Although here, don't have. Lah. You just make some note that uh, this one on that one side is 50 mm uh, head, inlet head here. This inlet, lah, inlet. Inlet, you can call it inlet pressure. We start with uh, 50 of uh, PCM uh, water. So if you take rho GH, you get hydrostatic pressure and this this uh, input your your input of the water times G part of the water. Of course, you have to convert to meter lah. Uh, because your row is in meter one. Then you get input. Then you see there's a drop of... You, you see this one is 50. What about this one? This one is, is how many? The reading? It's about 20, is it? About, about 20, right? Meniscus is about 20, right? 90, 20, right? But they have the time two, right? Correct? 40, 40 cm. So you see there's a drop of pressure from here to here. Oh, it's like this. Because of the friction here. There's a friction part happening here. 
so for the this apparatus the useful pressure is point number one where you're observing the starting pressure in to the nozzle here out outside the nozzle so your number one is your inlet pressure for nozzle yeah if you yeah if you want to bring the water uh, Yeah, you can put it there lah, if you want. Can you see? Yeah. I think important one is this one. Yeah. Or you can okay. So you see 50, 50 here, but it dropped up. But useful one because you're interested in the yeah. binary equation. So uh, the input pressure is 20 times 2, 40, 40 mm. So 40 will be written here, right? Yes, correct. So the first reading will be 40. Or oh, 40 cm, ah. you have to know ah, the yeah. unit cm. 40, yeah, 40 cm, and then the next one, you read. Lah. Maybe uh, one of you read 1 to 5, another read from 6 to 11. Yeah, then more faster. Lah. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Because of this, this is interesting, so I want to Yeah, 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 yeah. I also like hands-on. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. 
Then three one zero three one zero mm. So this is your input, this is your output. Input, output. Then this one this one only for this section. Yeah. So this is a side note, at least you know this set of experiment, there's a different head pressure. Now we change no, not yet. Measure the volume of the Q first. Okay. You need to Q for this set of experiment. Q. Uh, someone need to use your phone to time the thing. Someone operate the valve, then someone operate the the timer. <laughs> so someone count lah. Okay, open, press, <laughs> then ten, press. So how many liter you said? Ten lah. So they are measuring the water level up to 10, right? Yeah. yeah. Then they are counting with the handphone. So from the value, you have got the Q meter per second, a meter cube per second. So for the first set, it's almost reach. Then the first step will be 42.9. So they will repeat this kind of experiment by changing the total height of the pressure. Then they will read the 11 set of data. So for the first, So from there you can calculate. Uh, this one for 10 liter. You need to convert liter to meter cube. Okay, remember, uh, if not later, you forget straight away use. Okay, now change to the second set, change the. Now we open, right? Uh, you, you, you release the head. Okay, now you change the output head there to 330. 330. Right? 330 or 33 cm. So you see, uh, before you change that one, try to like draft the. The they call the the water profile that you read from this manometer. You draw it means you 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 can see there's a curve here, right? Yeah. So you just roughly oh. draft lah. At least you know what's happening for the first set of data. Yeah. Can you see the there's a water curve here? Yeah. So just draw lah. I mean just draw the the observation lah. This is what you observe lah. There's a step, there's a step, you see, there's a step yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> or later, if you plot the graph, you also can get this step. Yeah, the graph will be here. Yeah. But this is just a observation that you can get.
roughly lah, at least you, you can see that actually it's a curve, it's a pressure curve, and there's a big drop from five to six. Okay, uh, it's a big drop, and then increase a little bit, then over there. Okay, repeat the second step. Uh, cool, you ready? Turn it to 330. 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, Right. If you're not sure, you just reduce it back and then it increase again. You'll see all this profile actually increasing. Right. You're dropping, then you increase, then you'll increase back. But actually, what is the observation is that actually this portion changed more quickly than here. Okay. You, yeah. You see that uh, this after maybe after this site after number six here. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. If you drop this one, you'll see this one increase and drop quite, quite, quite significant, you can say. All right? 3, 3, 0. Now, well, now we can see that the big difference at this house. Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay. Now the second set, you just get the reading again. Yeah, second set is 50 and 330. Read again. Huh? Mm.
<laughs> so what time you get? Uh, okay, so what is the difference between the first set? The time more slower. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, you do the third set, then you tell me what is your observation. You done already, right? Now change to three five zero. Can you say, imagine what is happening inside here? If you change the yeah. pressure, actually the, the speed is actually changing. Eh? Be harder to yes, correct, correct, yeah. It's like you're changing the altitude of that yeah. side. Yeah. Three five zero, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. good. Now read the third set. Three five zero. You guys have lunch already? Yeah? Not yet. <laughs> Let breakfast. Not brunch. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Actually, I'm, uh, I'm having classes from, classes from 8 until 12. <laughs> and I got tutorial to you to submit by 6 months. Yeah. So, uh, okay, after this, uh, we have a short break. We go for go to canteen, take something, then come back. Huh? Must make sure uh, each one go to the correct position.
Yeah. Finish. Okay, good. Then we go for a break lah. Okay. We continue the next one. We just behind. Okay. Uh, maybe now it's. Uh, we uh, continue two twenty, two thirty. Yeah, two thirty uh, lah. Twenty. Thirty lah. We go for a, a break lah. Now it's two ten lah. Two thirty lah. Ah, twenty minutes break lah. Sir, I want to also one thing. Uh, I have a form. Sorry ah. Yeah. yeah. I have attended attendance form for renewing visa. Which one? Attendance form uh -huh. for renewing visa. Okay. I need you to just to fill it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. I thought you are local. You're not okay. No, no, no. <laughs>